I started my interest in clocks youngish, age about 16 or so. In those days I had really lived home for a foreign conservatorium, the one in Brussels. And the main lady there realized very quickly that I was handy. With her knitting machine, with the fuses that were blowing out and you know, and one day she said to me, Rajat, why don't you have a peep into the clock? There was a clock in the room. Can I really do that? Oh, wow. And I put my hands into it. I had quite a few surprises because things are quite venomous and entities with a will of their own. But I lost a bit and I got it to go. What makes one go into into the world of clocks is this challenge of something which is dead, which is just a bunch of gears, to actually tell you something. The time. There is something that's intimately linked to men who is an animal of tools. Guns and clocks share the common mastering of metallurgy. The intricacies, the mechanics, the magic of mysteriousness between the clock and the gun, I'm not sure that the gun doesn't actually win because it is so internal. You do something and something else happens elsewhere. And you got to pass your arts almost like this an X-ray mind, what's inside. That's what's fascinated me from the beginning. 